Hi guys, it's Stu here from Samsung Now. Samsung Now is where we look at all things Samsung, all things tech, all things gaming and everything in between. Today we're updating to 1201.6 on the KS series of Samsung TVs. Finally managed to update mine. Um, there's been people that have received the 1201.6 update earlier. I really don't know why that is. Perhaps it's down to model number. Um, perhaps it's down to where you live, but it doesn't seem to sort of form any real pattern. People in the UK are getting it before I did. Others in the US are getting it, but others are not. It, it's very confusing out to how, how Samsung are doing it. Um, what is interesting is that I downloaded it eventually from their website. It came up available today. Um, and uh, let's actually just come up there, 12. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's only just become available to download from their website. What was interesting was that it took forever to download and I've got a super fast connection. So perhaps that has something to do with it. Lots of TVs are downloading it. Um, the other thing I found that my TV refused to even go to software to software update. So for and I had to hard re, I had to reset it a few times to get see it's doing it again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, so this is what was happening before it. It wouldn't even let me check to see if you know there was an update available. And I think it's possibly due to demand and Samsung turning off the software update feature on some TVs to allow others to do it. You know, I have no idea why. But anyway, as you can see, I'm running 12.01. Actually, it's 12.01.6, as you saw, being flagged up. So now we're going to um, do some comparisons using the 4K footage we used for 1180.5. Um, and before that with 1169, I believe. Okay, so you can see the update just there. So we'll look at these images again, see if things have improved, see if we're getting any pixelation, any judder, any tearing, any light bleed. And those seem to be the main things that people are experiencing. So we'll start off with this. Um, don't know that that's me or it, it's actually worse. Um, and, and what I was looking at there was that image. It's, it's an actual video of, of, of the, the rock moving up, still getting pixelation on that logo. Uh, Pixelation looks much the same in in those dark areas on the bottom right on the pavement on the sidewalk there. Um, still coping okay with you know fast changes with between light and dark. This is a good one to test, looking for pixelation in the dark areas on the hills. And then as the sky turns darker, we're looking for pixelation and sort of definition in the clouds. If we're getting fine detail or it's sort of blocking it out with pixelation and what have you, perhaps to me seems a little bit better. It's sort of dealing with darker areas, although it could be a little bit grainy. There's still a little bit there, but it's not as bad. I was looking at the clouds then. We'll go back and look again at that. Um, you know, it, it's it's hard to tell, you know, directly. Um, but we'll have them showing side by side. But, you know, this line still looks fabulous as it did before. Lots of detail in the fur. Looking for Judder when he turns his head. That had improved in 1180.5, but we'll see if it's improved further still in this update. Come on, turn your head. You know you want to. 
it actually seems to be a bit better. I'm just wondering if maybe they've sorted out the judder issue. Looking at this image as it comes down to seeing if it's sort of juddering. Um, a little bit. Nothing huge, nothing that I would get too upset about. Um, there's still, there's always going to probably be pixelation because I've, I'll just quickly show you my settings in a second that I'm using. Um, because I, those to me get the best sort of picture. There's a, there's a balance that you have to play. Uh, and one of the questions I get asked a lot is, you know, what settings do I have for standard def? What settings do I have for HD and 4K uh, and sky and cable and BT and X, Y, and Z? I only have two sets of settings, one for games and one for my TV in terms of general viewing. And um, by that, I will apply the same settings for 4K to HD to standard definition. I try to have it so I'm not having to mess around with changing settings all the time because no one wants to do that. Sometimes I'm watching 4K movies, sometimes I'm watching uh, HD. It does seem to be a little bit better in those dark areas and on the clouds there. It does seem to be a little bit better. Um, yeah, so I just have a overall setting for watching the TV and then a setting for games. The reason I have that is that I want something that I can just apply as, as, a, as a one size fits all. I don't want to have to keep changing settings all the time, just dependent on what type of movie I'm watching. You know, people go too far. You know, it, it takes out the enjoyment and it's probably going to annoy your significant other if you keep doing that too. Um, so these settings work well for, you know, any type of video. And I'm sure there's going to be many of you or some of you that will disagree and no doubt let me know. So overall, it seems okay. Actually, what we will do... Um, I do like this 4K footage of these hills and sunset. Uh, my phone will probably crush it a little bit on the colors and on the contrast, but trust me, it looks a lot better. That does look better. It's not as bad as it was. 1180.5, I really struggled to see a difference. I, I really feel that this perhaps with, with this update, that there, there's a bit of a step. Um, but yeah, just to quickly go over what settings I am using, uh, I have it set at movie, and then we have that at 20, 45, 100, no sharpness at all, um, because that can cause sort of graininess. Um, digital clean view off. These things tend to ruin images. Auto motion is the worst one. Um, although it creates sort of a smoother image and, you know, it, it really does sort of ruin things a little. So I have those turned off. Smart LED I put at high, namely because um, if you have it at low or auto, it tends to pump same with the dynamic contrast I have at high. So it just adjusts them very quickly. So you don't get this sort of contrast and sort of light pumping um, going on, which tends to be very noticeable once you notice it. Color space. Um, I won't go through all those, but there is a particular setting that I use, um, which you can see in um, my um, settings video. Um, so yeah, there, there are particular custom white balance and um, 
color space that I use. But just so you know, I have most of the processing turned off simply because it tends to ruin things a little bit. So there we have it. Overall, um, I'm, 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 I'm happier with this update than I was with uh, 1180.5. Time will tell, of course, because over this next week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch some of the movies that I, I watched after the, the update of 1180.5. And then, you know, I'll watch some standard def HD, uh, 4K movies and so on and streaming as well to see if we get any of those awful issues we had previously with um, HD, particularly with Batman and Superman, Dawn of Dawn of Nonsense, um, which looked really bad. It really looked bad. So, um, so yeah, we will, we will, I will, I, I will rather um, watch the, um, have a good look with content that I'm looking at, Sky, Cable, BT, Streaming, Netflix, Amazon, um, watch some 4K movies, both streaming and through uh, uh, Blu-ray 4K. HD and standard def and then I'll come back in a week or so and let me and I'll let you know my thoughts but overall as an initial sort of first take it seems better it seems better um, there appears to be a tiny bit of judder there still there's also um, there seems less pixelation some detail is is being pulled out better in dark areas um, but yeah, t time will tell. We'll see over this next week how well it does. So I hope this is helpful. If you want to use my settings, there's a complete, um, settings, um, expert settings video that I go through where I show how to adjust the color tone. So you get the RGB, right? They're all set to industry standards. I, I don't use a lot of processing, if any. I also have a game settings. And after this, after I've come back and played my PlayStation as well, I will look to adjust these settings to see if uh, I can make things better um, on both the PlayStation and on the TV. So there we go, guys. That's 1201.6. Finally got it, finally installed on my TV. Let's hope it's just uh, sorted out a lot of the issues we've had. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment and um, enjoy your TV. Okay, guys. Thanks again. Bye-bye.